Welcome to my channel, fellow Skyrim travelers. Today's video was made unexpectedly due to the sudden influx of incredibly important mods that have surfaced recently. There's been a plethora of significant and massive mods making their debut. This video is just as crucial as any other, so I urge you to recommend it to others. I've carefully curated mods that you'll surely find captivating. No more delay? Let's dive right in. Allow me to introduce the first mod, Skyclimb. How many times have you struggled to manually add climbable locations one by one, dealing with the hassle of adding ESP files? Well, with Skyclimb, you won't need to go through that anymore. You can now experience a true climbing mechanic in Skyrim. Skyclimb brings a genuine climbing experience to the game, utilizing EVG traversals animations and implementing techniques seen in modern games. It allows you to realistically climb onto anything in the world of Skyrim. Unlike add-ins for EVGAT, Skyclimb detects hills and high places in real time, providing a seamless climbing mechanic without the need for specific plugins. Now, you can instantly scale objects without any extra steps. In my personal opinion, Skyclimb has truly elevated EVG Traversal's mod to new heights. The combination of Skyclimb and EVG Traversal takes Skyrim's movement to the next gen level, making this mod a crucial addition and the highlight of this video. Next, let me introduce you to the SMC Skyrim Motion Control mod. SMC is a script-free SKSE plugin that revolutionizes player movement in multiple ways. In real life, when humans sprint, their speed gradually increases. As stamina runs low, characters should start gasping and feeling exhausted. Moreover, abruptly stopping should make the character take a few more steps before coming to a halt. However, in the vanilla Skyrim, regardless of stamina levels, actors always move at a constant speed while running and stopping is instant. This deviates from the realistic running experience. SMC aims to address these simplistic movement mechanics. With this mod, you will experience player acceleration and movement speed adjustments. When you stop, your character will continue a bit further due to momentum. Additionally, Performing a jump grants you a speed boost, and rotating the player character will result in speed loss. With SMC, the movement in Skyrim becomes more dynamic and immersive, reflecting a closer resemblance to real-life actions. However, if you apply this to Skyrim with the default values, you may feel that the character's movements are a bit stiff. In this case, you can make adjustments through the INI files. For me, I set max sprint speed to 110 and speed up multiplier to 3. The best part is, you don't need to restart the game to apply these changes. Simply press the refresh hotkey, which is the enter key, and the adjustments take effect in real time within the game. By applying these values, you'll experience faster acceleration while running, which helps alleviate the feeling of stiffness. So, I encourage you to give it a try and see how it works for you. If any of you have found even better INI setting values for this mod, please share them in the comments. I would be extremely grateful for any helpful insights. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the Wheeler Quick Action Wheel of Skyrim mod. Wheeler seamlessly embeds a quick action wheel into Skyrim's gameplay, providing a convenient interface for quick and customized access to spells, weapons, powers, shouts, potions, and poisons in the inventory. In-game, you can use hotkeys in real-time to instantly equip your desired items from the wheel menu. Creating the wheel menu and configuring the key bindings may seem a bit complex at first, but once you get accustomed to it, you'll be able to create and use custom wheel menus tailored to your preferences. Compared to other hotkey mods, Wheeler uses a GUI, ensuring freedom from script accumulation and offering high stability. This is why it's expected to be widely favored by many players. Wheeler not only allows you to easily access your desired items visually, but also enhances convenience during your adventures. I've previously showcased the Wheeler mod through a video on my channel. If you search for Wheeler on my channel, you can find a more detailed overview of this fantastic mod. Alternatively, you can also find more information about Wheeler on my history site. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the Toggle Dialogue Camera mod. While having conversations with NPCs, what do I have this to mod allows you to instantly switch between one saint person and three RD person perspectives by pressing a specific key. 
Additionally, it supports zooming in and out using the mouse wheel or thumbstick. This simple SKSE plugin makes installation and removal a breeze. You can think of it as an ESP-free version of the Switch camera during Dialog mod recently released by the talented modder Jay Serpa. With Toggle Dialog Camera, you can have a seamless and dynamic dialog experience in both first and three RD person views, adding a new level of immersion to your interactions with the game world. Give it a try and see how it enhances your Skyrim gameplay. Have you ever marveled at those majestic rock arches in Skyrim, only to wonder, how on earth are these structures even standing? In the vanilla game, these arches appear to be a mix of stacked and levitating rocks. For the slightly better Nordic Henges base object swapper is here to elevate your gaming experience. This mod serves as a mesh replacer for the Nordic arches scattered throughout Skyrim. Drawing inspiration from the concept of henges, Creator have crafted three new variants that adhere more closely to the laws of gravity. These three henges will seamlessly replace the original ones thanks to the magic of base object swapper, all without requiring any landscape edits. To ensure smooth integration, the mod comes with an ESL-flagged ESP that adds the necessary records for the three variants. Next up is the Raptors Prehistoric Content Series mod. This mod adds raptors to Skyrim, featuring a total of three types, forest, alpine, and plains raptors. They come in groups of four whenever they spawn and move in a manner similar to wolves. The quality of these creatures is quite impressive. As you explore Skyrim's fields, you'll encounter raptors more frequently than you might expect. Their feathered appearance blends well with the tundra climate, making them fit naturally into the environment. However, be cautious. These raptors pack a punch with their considerable attack power, and if you're not careful, your character may meet an untimely demise. Additionally, there's a version of the raptors without feathers available for download. Next, let me introduce the Coco Gothic Babe Outfit mod. Coco's Gothic Babe features a unique Gothic-style dress. The headband follows the typical gothic design, and the twin tail SMP wig is also included in this mod, decorated with a ribbon around the neck. The half-transparent high-quality arm adornments and chest area add to the allure of this outfit. The detail of the brown belt wrapped around the waist is quite striking. The pants are held together with laces down the center, embracing the thighs and calves. The long boots with applied heels elongate the character's legs. Overall. This outfit boasts exceptional physics effects on all its components, making it a high-quality ensemble. With the exception of the headband and neck ribbon, it might not give off a strong gothic vibe, allowing you the flexibility to customize the outfit to your liking. Whether you decide to embrace the full gothic look or opt for a lighter customization, the Coco Gothic Babe outfit will surely add a touch of elegance and charm to your adventures in Skyrim. Next. Let me introduce the Witchy Fawn mod. Witchy Fawn offers a new accessory collection featuring 16 types of horns and three varieties of elf ears, perfect for creating a captivating deer-like character. These accessories are compatible with both male and female characters, allowing for a diverse range of appearances. From elegant deer antlers to majestic ram horns and intricately adorned ones, these additions provide a touch of mystique and fantasy to your character's appearance. Whether you seek a mystical, otherworldly aura, or simply wish to add a touch of whimsical charm, the Witchy Fawn mod will undoubtedly elevate your Skyrim adventures to a whole new level of enchantment. Thank you for joining us in this exciting exploration of the must-have Skyrim mods in August 2023. These mods have undoubtedly added incredible depth and enjoyment to our adventures. However, we must always remember that while these mods are fantastic creations, they might still be relatively new in the Skyrim modding community. Before diving into them, please exercise caution and remember to conduct thorough bug reports and compatibility checks. Remember, the modding community thrives on collaboration and support. So if you encounter any issues or have suggestions for improvement, don't hesitate to share them with the mod authors and fellow players. Stay vigilant. And together, let's continue to make Skyrim an even more immersive and breathtaking world. Thank you for being a part of this incredible journey. See you in the next adventure!